So when I was a kid, I used to play on my iPad like a lot. My parents downloaded a lot of games and some of them were weird, but when a new one dropped, I was ecstatic about it. Honestly, I don't know where my parents got these games from, probably from the local dumpster, but uh, we'll never know. It's totally not the app store. The game I'm gonna be playing today from my old childhood is called Hansel and Gretel. And without further ado, let's get into the weird game of Hansel and Gretel. So the game starts with a book and a once upon a time, this woodcutter has two children, which are Hansel and Gretel, and they're sad for some reason, so to cheer his children up, he makes them a treehouse, which Hansel and Gretel paint yellow with candy canes, which is, might I say, kind of weird. Then one day, the lumberjack apparently caught all the trees nearby him, so he had to go deeper into the forest, and apparently, a witch did not like him cutting the trees, so... Uh, the witch at, in the middle of the night went up to his house and just cackled and just went away. Then Hansel decided to go out and collect some pebbles. So as Hansel is collecting these pebbles, oh my gosh, why is he picking up a house? What is that sorcery? In the morning, the witch came back but disguised herself as an old lady and took Hansel and Gretel into the woods. Which is kind of suspicious, might I say. Hmm... But you know, remember the pebbles from last night that Hansel picked up? Well, he started dropping them, but then the witch started to notice, so she said the most legendary word I have ever heard. Yellow belly buffoon, stop throwing pebbles. Yellow belly buffoon, what even is that? That's like, that's some legendary words, but what is that? But then the witch abandoned Hansel and Gretel in the middle of the woods, but remember the pebbles from earlier? Those were not pointless. I thought they were pointless for some reason. So through the night, Hansel and Gretel followed like the pebbles all the way home. And during the night, the old lady, which aka the witch, came to the house and asked the woodcutter, hey, I need shelter, which the woodcutter said yes to, but Hansel knew it was the witch. So he devised a plan and um, his plan was breadcrumbs. A, a trail of breadcrumbs to get home. That, that's, pretty, that's pretty weird. It totally could not get blown away by the wind or birds cannot eat it. Yeah, to totally, totally. In the morning, Hansel and Gretel led the, the, the lady home, which is kind of weird because how would they know where, where the lady lives? But anyways, since Hansel knew it was the witch, uh, he started like making a breadcrumb trail, which the witch somehow never noticed. But then uh, she abandoned Zanzo and Gretel again. But you know, birds, you know, birds can eat breadcrumbs, so the breadcrumbs just disappeared. Uh, Hansel, you could have come up with something better. But, anyways, so they made it fired in less than 1.2 seconds. And, um, yeah, they, yeah, they, they just, uh, they just ch chill at the fire, you know? And then in the morning, yeah, their time cycle will go like that, like a snap of a finger. They smell. A weird, interesting smell. I have no idea what they're smelling, but it's just a smell. So they follow the smell, and what do you know? It's a gingerbread house. And what do you know? It's the old lady from earlier. Totally not the witch. But anyways, Hansel and Gretel start eating, like, cupcakes and other sweets. Then the old lady um, traps Hansel in a cage in the basement and demands Gretel to, like, cook random stuff so uh, that she can fan up Hansel and, you know, eat her and, uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what is that? After a bit of uh, Gretel just giving stuff, food and stuff uh, to Hansel and he wasn't even fanning up, you know, Gretel uses her uh, 200 IQ and magically just vanished the cage out of nowhere, which makes absolutely no sense. Then Hansel and Gretel managed to trick the witch to going in the cage and locking her in, but yeah, you know, she can teleport, so she just vanished with the cage, and that made no sense, so Hansel and Gretel escaped the basement, but as they were leaving the basement, you know, you see some jewelry ra lying around, you know, might as well just take it, so they robbed the witch and started booking it home. Then they somehow managed to find their way home, which is kind of weird because they were making a lot of trails and stuff, in the beginning, but there's like this river that only has like ducks, logs, and crocodiles, and you know, Hansel has like the brightest idea to like, you know, like, you know, step on the ducks, but, uh, but that makes absolute no sense because like, the ducks would probably sink and die, and the crocodiles would probably just, uh, 
eat you before you even step in. But yeah, they make it both to the other side with some um, weird logic of stepping on a crocodile. But they both make it and, you know, they race each other home. You would think Angel and Gretel might be a little bit scarred and might think twice before trusting random strangers off the spot and maybe Hansel might have PTSD for being locked in a cage in the basement of a witch's house. But no, they just trust someone randomly immediately. I'm joking, I'm joking, or am I? The real ending, Hansel and Gretel just gave their dad the jewelry that they stole and the dad didn't even ask where they got it from and they lived happily ever after. I rate this game 9 mangoes out of 20, and that was a video about the weird game I played as a kid. Yellow Belly Buffoon. Yellow, what is that? What is actually Yellow Belly Buffoon? L let me search it up real quick. Yeah, I, I got a Yellow Belly Python. Is that, is that a Yellow Belly Buffoon? Then Jack falls into- oh, wait, wait, wrong, wrong line. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Jack story, whoops. Oh, it's Hansel and Gretel, man. Uh, yellow with candy canes on the roof is some pretty weird architecture. <coughs> oh my- <coughs> Hansel and Gretel made a fire less than- less than- less than- less than 1.2 seconds. Nailed it.